Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another prediction video ahead of the year 2020. I'm going to try and predict, and as you can tell by the title, all the group positions. Where would they finish after they played their three games? I think it is in the Euro. So anyway guys, let's get straight down to it. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, give us a little big problem that you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and let's go. So starting off with Group A, we've got Italy, we've got Wales, Switzerland and Turkey. Um, now this works out a bit different as you can turn the screen now. I've got all the teams there already. I'll put Italy in first. I just think Italy will have a bit of a, you know, a really good run between the three clubs. I'm expecting possibly a draw between Wales and Italy, obviously being my uh, prediction videos later on during this uh, tournament. But I just stuck Wales in second. I think Wales um, having a good run back in 2018, um, I think they might put them in good stead. So that's why I put them in second. And then obviously the last two, I was twisting and turning about these two. But I decided to go with Switzerland in third. Um, I just think I got a slightly bit more overage than Turkey. So that's why I went with that order. Um, but yeah, it's got to be a pretty good group. And um, there's one group that's got my mouth really watering. I'll be looking forward to watch. But anyway, on to Group B. So Group B, we have Russia, Denmark, Belgium, Finland. Um, I'll put Russia in first. I just think maybe Russia could do a bit of damage um, considering it's played all over Europe. I'm not sure whether it's been played uh, some of it in Russia or not. But, you know, Russia did have a pretty good 2018. Ain't really had a bad run, I don't think, going into this competition. So I'll just put Russia on top. I did have a twist and turn between Russia and Belgium to go top. Russia just edged in my mind slightly. In second, obviously I went with Denmark. Um, Denmark to me may just have that bit more of a cutting edge over Belgium and yet it goes twisting and turning which way to put these two. I just think maybe slightly Denmark might just edge it with the likes of Smyrkel and Gold as well. Further went with Belgium. I obviously couldn't put them last. I don't think they finished last anyway. I probably expect them to get three points, maybe more out of the whole competition. Yeah, well, I think I get more than three points, surely. Um, and then fourth, I went with Finland. Um, Finland, to me, bit of a strong group to come out of, if I'm being honest. So, I went with Finland in fourth, expecting them to maybe get a point or two. The only, yeah, I possibly think they should get a point or two out of the group. I don't think they go home point. Euro 2020. Group C, I went with Holland, Ukraine, Austria and Moldova. Moldova, I've never really heard of the country. Obviously, Holland are down as the Netherlands, so I put them down as Holland because the Netherlands wouldn't fit in the box, but you know who I are anyway. I predicted them to finish top because I really do think, yet again, they will have a strong tournament. And I, you know, Holland do get underestimated from time to time. Uh, maybe not as strong as what I used to be, but still a strong team none of the wiser. Second, I went with uh, Ukraine. Why I went with Ukraine over Holland is I just think maybe Ukraine will m miss out on that cutting edge. Maybe in front of goal, maybe at the back. I'm possibly thinking more at the back than, you know, at the front of goal. Third, I went with Austria. Yeah, again, a bit of a hard running for Austria. Um, which will put them in third spot. And don't forget, I think they do have a third, third or fourth playoff game when the group stages get done. Um, well, I did that purely for the matter of fact of, you know, I can't see Australia beating Holland or Ukraine. Moldova, more than likely, which why I put Moldova bottom because obviously I can't be anywhere closer to Austria or Holland or Ukraine. But that's how I'm expecting Group C to finish. Group D, obviously England's group. England's group to me. Now, I am going to talk to you why I'll put this order, obviously. But, you know, as you can tell on your screen, I've got Croatia, England, Czech Republic, Scotland. Croatia, I think they are the underdogs. I really do think Croatia will cause, you know, a couple of problems to, uh, to these teams. And maybe even further, obviously, if I get there. But I think Croatia really are the underdogs this year. Really will be underestimated. I'm not going to underestimate them whatsoever. Second, I went obviously with England. If England don't qualify past group stages, I will not be a happy bunny. But that be me as long as all the other England fans. We must get past the group stage after reaching their semi-final in the 2018 World Cup. But it's going to be another interesting game. Third, 
I did twist between these two, between England and Czech Republic. I just believe Czech Republic will miss out on, on the uh, top two. But yet again, don't underestimate when they go into that third to fourth playoff game against Scotland. If it goes this way, obviously. But yeah, I'll just think Czech Republic will miss out slightly. Then fourth, I went with Scotland. Now, no disrespect to Scotland. Doug, great to get to this part of the competition. You have now have, you know, played in a major competition, or you will have um, when it's, it's all done. But I just think Scotland might underestimate the competition slightly. You know, they did have to come through, I think it's the uh, Nations League, to get to this stage of the competition. As I said, fair play to Scotland, fair play to you. But I just think you will finish fourth in the competition. And I think you might point if you're lucky. And yet again, it's no disrespect to Scotland whatsoever. But, you know, I've got an uncle that's Scottish and... I can't see him happy being with that, but I had to put someone there, and unfortunately, in my mind, it'd be Scotland. On to Group E. So, E, we've got Spain, Swindon. No, it's not Swindon, is it? Switzerland. Got there in the end. Um, Poland and Slovakia. Uh, Spain obviously finished up. Obviously, did great. And the way Spain play, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I really can't underestimate Spain whatsoever. They go top. Sweden go second. I just think maybe they will have a bit of a cutting edge going into this competition. Um, but yet again, don't underestimate you know, the likes of Poland, who I put third. And yet did, I did twist and turn between these two, who goes in second. I just think, as I said, Switzerland will just edge it. Uh, but yeah, Poland in third. I think they will finish third in the playoff game as well. Um, but it's going to be an interesting battle between, you know, Sw uh, Swi Switzerland and Poland. Uh, Sweden and Poland, sorry. Um, but yeah, don't forget, it's going to be an interesting competition. Uh, fourth, I put Slovakia. Um, yeah, again, no disrespect. Really can't see them getting anywhere near the top two. Um, and I think Poland will just edge it over Slovakia. So, you know, but now on to Group F. Group F is got my mouth watered. The first time I actually looked at the groups when I was doing setting all this up for you. Um, and it really got my mouth watering and I'm going to watch this group with, you know, a lot of love for the game. Um, but anyway, I've gone first with Portugal. I've gone Portugal first. Yet again, would it be Cristiano Ronaldo's last major competition for Portugal? That's in, you know, uh, Tolkien. I reckon it will be, you know, but he's had a great career. But yeah, again, I just think Portugal will edge top spot. Second, now I did have a twist in turn between these two countries as well, between Germany and France. Um, I put Germany there because of the young talent they bring through in every competition. And don't forget to see Germans manager's last competition with Germany as well. Um, but he's done a brilliant job with Germany. France I put third because I just think Germany, as I said, might edge it. I don't know why, but I just think they might. And yet again, I did have a toss about uh, France and Portugal, but I just think France will miss out slightly. And fourth, with no disrespect, I put Hungary because of, you know, look at that group. Can't really see them getting many points. But anyway, guys, my predictions will be keep on coming. But anyway, until then, guys, you know what to do. Give us a like, big fat thumbs up, you enjoy it. Get, get involved in the comments as well. How would you see the groups finishing up? As I said, my um, my predictions weekly will be coming up as well. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.